In this episode, we're trenching in the water line from the well to the garage apartment. I'll just go ahead and tell you up front that this particular trencher was not easy to handle, nor was it very fast. So if you're attempting this, you might want to try another machine. We had to cut the trench almost entirely along the perimeter of the property due to the septic field taking up the bulk of the yard. The pipe will have to pass behind the house to where the well is on the opposite side. Maybe the cutting chain was dull, or it was just the nature of the red clay, but it was very slow going. And the trencher wouldn't go through roots. We had to stop and cut those by hand. The main issue with the handling is that it doesn't steer. It only cuts straight, and when you need to turn, you must lift the cutter and manhandle the thing to another angle. Here's where I hit a 2 inch pipe that took the sewage from the main house up to the septic tank. Oh, we gotta go under that. We used roughly 300 feet of 3 quarter inch poly pipe. Where we live, it only needs to be about 12 inches deep because our ground doesn't typically freeze. We join the sections of pipe with stainless steel couplings and stainless steel clamps. The couplings take a little bit of effort to press into the pipe. in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, that would be smart. Y'all don't do that.
Here is the new main water shutoff for the garage. Don't use these fittings. They're the wrong ones. Just in case you're wondering, PEX fittings and poly pipe fittings are not the same size. We didn't end up doing the septic installation, but there will be a short video on that just in case anyone wants to tackle it themselves. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you next time.